You may be wondering to yourself, Aaron, do you really need those glasses? And no, it just makes me feel smart. Why, hello everyone. My name's Aaron McGuire, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own professor puppet from Puppet History. For those of you who don't know, the professor is the host of the popular series on YouTube, Puppet History, which is on the channel Watcher, formed by Shane, Ryan, and Steven from BuzzFeed. They made Watcher so they could have more creative freedom, and so they could make whatever shows they wanted. I could see them having like little sock puppets, like, you know, like doing Game of Thrones. Okay, I can see that. Little puppets, yeah. yeah little puppets. I'm, I'm on board with that. Thus, Puppet History was born with its wonderful songs. Tell you what, I think it sure is fun to make people die. I'm just looking all over me. Plentiful jelly beans. Open my little bag. <laughs> it's a jelly bean. Oh, my jelly beans. <laughs> and its adorable, lovable host. I'll kill you. Now instead of making my own from scratch like these amazing talented people on Reddit, like holy crap, I like God knows I can't do that. So I just decided to make it as close to the original as I possibly could. The treasure hunt to find everything that I needed ended up being the hardest part. But this hunt to find everything ended up being totally pointless because I found a Reddit post that listed every single item and how to make it. Which is wonderful and awesome, but I found this after I had already done all that myself. Like the answer was right in front of me the entire time. So I'm gonna link to that Reddit post in the description so you all can follow that as well if you want. I'm gonna be going over pretty much the exact same thing, uh, but I do wanna mention those because they did a really awesome job also. Well, with that out of the way, I started off by making a plan of the things that I would need. Of course, I'm gonna need the blue puppet base, you know, the hat, the eyeballs, the satchel, glass of jacket and shirt, felt for the eyebrows, and of course, jelly beans for extra authenticity. You can find the blue monster puppet on thepuppetstore.com. The outfit that the professor wears is also from the puppet store. It's this grandpa puppet. Both are 14 inches, by the way. And it wouldn't be surprising if this is where Shane got all of his stuff because it also has the death puppet on here as well. The puppet store has free shipping for orders over $35. I bought these puppets separately on accident. So buy them together so that you get free shipping, unlike me. Next was the satchel, which is part of this Smith's... Smith's... Smithsonian paleontologist set, and wow, it's the exact same one. And wow, it has the hat too. Ba bam, ba bam. And then looking up American Girl doll glasses, I found these glasses online, which are the exact same color and have the same nose bridge shape. And again, I'm going to include links to every single one of these items in the description so you can find them all there. The eyes were really tricky because I had no idea what size they were. I have no idea where you got them from, and it's kind of hard to see the details in the video. But I settled on these 20 millimeter light brown eyes from Factory Direct Craft, which ended up being a huge mistake. The ones that I ended up getting were way too small. I definitely recommend the eyes that are mentioned in this Reddit post, which are these one inch Halloween eyes. And I bought some felt from Michaels for the eyebrows. And of course you can find jelly beans at pretty much anywhere that sells candy. Your estimated total is gonna be about $78.09, and that doesn't include shipping and tax. So it could be potentially around $90, or even more if you live outside of the US and you have to order these products. Which is way more than I expected. <laughs> for this deceptively simple puppet. But anyway, now that I have everything, it's time to assemble. The first and hardest step was taking out the eyes, but it turned out that this part was totally pointless because as this Reddit user mentions, Shane actually glued half round eyes onto the eyes that were already on the blue puppet. So do that instead, it's probably better. Next was just removing the shirt from the grandpa puppet and sliding it onto the blue monster puppet. The pants come off too. I don't know why you have this option. Why? <laughs> for children. Stitch the freaking pants on, guys. Because a child would do this. And I'm, I'm 20 and I did. The glasses, hat, and satchel go on there really easily. Except for the glasses, actually. The glasses tend to fall off. What I recommend doing is attaching a rubber band to the ends of the glasses and then just wrap it around his head. So even if I shake it violently, it stays on really well. Next is gluing on the eyes. My glue of choice is crazy glue, but I would recommend doing this outside or in a well-ventilated room. Next, I cut off a tiny piece of felt, rolled it up, and glued it on top of the eyes. Next, I would trim some of the fluff off by the mouth. I tried using scissors, then an electric shaver, and then I just straight up got out some hair clippers. It's very easy to overdo this part, so just be very delicate with it and just kind of constantly check how it looks. Next, put the jelly beans in the satchel and your professor puppet is done, but not really for me because I still need to put the new eyes on them. 
and there we go. So this is the completed Professor Puppet. It's pretty much identical to the ones in the videos. And now it's time to show my girlfriend. Here we go, Mamma Mia. You know, during that funny little plague, I worked some long hours. And at the end of most days, Welcome one and all to Puppet History! <laughs> I know it! <laughs> Hi, Daisy. I got you this. I knew it! Here you go, my child. Beautiful. Do you want to open up the little satchel? He has a jelly bean. <laughs> he has a jelly bean. <laughs> the thing is up like that because oh I don't want to get dirty. So, so he's going to be getting all the hugs today? Yes. Okay. No, okay. no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to tag Shane in this. Tag Shane? You have to tag Shane in this. Uh, <laughs> I think he's a busy guy. I don't use Twitter. Maybe I'll get on Twitter just for this. Maybe he he will lose his mind as a tiny little professor. Needed the hat. Ah. I can make the face now where he's like. Yeah, so you like it. Alrighty, I think that'll do it for the video. Any last words? Because I'm going to kill you. Oh. Overall, this ended up being a way more expensive product than I thought it would be. But it was really freaking fun to make and satisfying to find everything online and just see it come together. The big negative for this is that every time I go onto eBay, I'm just all of a sudden stared at by a thousand eyeballs. Also, on top of making the professor, you also end up making a naked grandpa character who is also a paleontologist with eight eyeballs. That's just... That's like equally as cool, you know? So if you have a severe addiction to the show and you don't mind dropping a hundred dollars to make this professor puppet, then uh, yeah, this is how you do it. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. And thank you all for existing. You're all important. You're all loved and I love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't really know what I'm doing with this channel at this point. It'll primarily be movie related videos, but I think I'll also post videos of me working on some kind of craft or me trying to learn something, or maybe I'll try a challenge or something I've never done before like I did with this video. Uh, who knows? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Who am I? So yeah, stay tuned for more videos in the future. If there's anything that you want to see me try to do, then just leave it in the comments. I, I take a look at all the comments. Definitely let me know what you want to see. And I don't know how to end my video still. Goodbye. Lumpy people dropping left and right The putrid smell of rotting flesh in the air uh, But all good things come to an end And to be honest, I needed a rest But I'll never forget how great it felt To cash that overtime check